Good morning. It's Thursday, and I have to run back home today, you may recall. So, let's do that. Well, I am back in Oregon City, um, or back in Portland. So, the iPad did get delivered. Uh, so, basically, the receptionist had worked um, like 12 hours yesterday, so she wasn't going to come in until 1 um, at my at my old church, which is where, for some reason, I had the iPad delivered. Um, so I got to the church around about an hour ago, uh, about noon, and about quarter till, so my plan was I was going to wait there until the receptionist got there, and then I was going to, um, if it hadn't been delivered, I was going to come and run my errands um, down, uh, down in this area, and then Hopefully it would, it would have been delivered by the time I swung back north. Uh, but it got delivered before she even got there, so that's great. It's after 1 in the morning on Friday. And I was able to get... I'm not done yet, by the way. Uh, for for today. I'm just giving you an update because I haven't talked to you all day. So I was able to get the video system, so the camera feed coming back into the scaler. That works uh, pretty well. But I can't, I still can't seem to get the scaler output, or the computer output, yeah, the scaler output over VGA to go back to the booth, or to the video room, and into the switcher. And I'm not sure why. I think it has to do with resolution, but if that's the case, I'm up a creek. Because using my HDMI transmission system over IP, I can do 720p, 1080i or 1080p. When I set that as an output resolution on the scaler, the projection screens go green. And I can't seem to change it. Uh, we tried changing the Pro Presenter output resolution to 1920 by 1080. No joy. The VGA balance, I don't know what's going on with those. Um, there's some process where we have to com connect the computer to the actual display that we're sending it to. And then once we connect after that, because they do the handshake process, um, after that, then these, um, these VGA balins apparently are able to transmit just fine. Um, I kind of reached my breaking point trying to troubleshoot that system for now. Um, I gotta get the audio working, so that's what I'm working on. Let me show you where I'm at with that. So the pastor helped me trace which wires were going uh, to the EQs. And let me just grab my flashlight here. So I've dropped all the EQs, um, with the exception of, well that's an amplifier. But right now, I'm going to move that amplifier over here. There's a Behringer um, delay device here that I need to hook back up. It's for that speaker right there. So I'm in the process of getting the outputs of the Studio Live connected appropriately. So. That is where I'm at. So I'm not gonna do a lot of cool stuff in this video, you know, like set the camera up so you can watch me install the, the amplifiers and that kind of thing. Mainly because I'm tired. Um, I don't remember what time I woke up Thursday morning, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna do the math. Anyway, it's been a long day. Um, you may recall I ran down to Portland to pick up some stuff, the iPad, 
um, these HDMI over IP transmitter systems, uh, some LED lights that they wanted to look at. Anyway, long story short, I didn't get back here until 5, 5, 6, until almost 6 o'clock. Um, there was an accident on the freeway coming back. I mean, it was a nightmare. Anyway, so I did not get as much done today as I was anticipating, so I've got some catching up to do. So I'm going to focus on that. Okay, I'm calling it a night. It's after 4 in the morning. And we have a working sound system. I just got all of the mixes, which is what Personas is now calling ear auxiliary sends. And kind of cool, you can set them up as um, aux sends or subgroups. There's one other option I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but on this particular Studio, 30, Studio Live 32, you get 15? Yeah, no, 16. You get 16 mixes. Um, 1 through 12 are XLR outputs, and the remaining 4 are quarter inch. So your mixes are down here. Let's see if I can zoom in, you can see the uh, XLR connectors here. So how I have it is mix 1 and 2 are the video feeds, which is working, um, but needs to be tweaked. Uh, this is going to the speaker here. I've got it about as close as I can get it. And then um, these go to various monitors. So 11 and 12 are XLRs. 13 and 14 and 15 are quarter inch. And those are outputs. It's been a day. I don't know when I'm going to be back at it, but I've got one last major hurdle that I've got to get figured out uh, when I get back on site and that is getting picture from this computer area back to the um, the video room and I've got no idea how I'm gonna do it I might be able to talk him into that U scaler that I have at my place I could take a VGA output from their scaler, run it into the second scaler, and run HDMI out from there, and that should work. But, I don't know. I'm going to let my subconscious chew on it while I sleep. Uh, I apologize that this video is a little shorter. Um, I know it's been mostly me talking. Um, but it's been an extremely busy day. Uh, one last thing before I break the camera down and everything. I did get that covered up. Um, I'm going to run and, and put the cover on this real quick before I leave as well. So, you know, just about every day has had major progress being made. But in order for that progress to be made, you know, you got to put the hours in. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's just no way around it. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. They're recording audio. No wiggle at all. How much is this? $2,500? Something like that. There you go. I have my book, Luca Kana.